Stop! Okay, so this one is, a, again, an offset. Uh, it's a skate block offset, but it's also a tracking line offset, so it's a hybrid. Uh, skate block, tracking line, hybrid offset. And so this blue line, uh, instead of having a dual skate block, we hard tie high uh, on, on the upper side, uh, and then this is just static the whole way, all the way through all the way up here and we're going to do an independent self belay on the asap that's why i really like this carriage because it already has like an asap built in that you can just piggyback on so independent self belay on the tracking line so what this means is um if our tracking line fails the the nature of the skate block in and of itself is going to want to rest the fall from hitting the ground but it's also going to um it, it may swing in a little bit if that tracking line is under higher tension or greater deflection but it's not going to pendulum past plumb um, so this provides the tracking line in and of itself right here will provide a belay for both those conditions whereas if the skate block fails um, the asap will prevent a fall all the way down along that tracking line of the ground so we're covered in both aspects of our belays um, so yeah uh, let's run this thing and we have our edge guys ready for positioning and our operators down on the ground. This is a ground-based evolution. So blue is going through a butt block this time because we may need to put some mechanical advantage in here later to clear. Now we've added more obstacles. Not only do we have a heavy rescue, we have an ambulance. And so we, we're going to need to pull this package even further beyond what a skate block can give us. So that's why in the, under these conditions, this is something that you consider where, okay, I need to to give me just a little more clearance that I need uh, an escape block uh, tracking line hybrid accomplishes that okay we are, we are great. yeah so uh, Eric just hold your position there I think we're okay and we're ready for down, Jan. Okay, so again, with skate blocks, the natural path that's gonna go out is a, a third of the distance of the total height. Our last time we did this with dual skate blocks, we came up just shy and nicked the end of the heavy, but now, we're gonna use that tracking line to kind of give us that extra uh, space out. And down on tracking a little bit. And pretty soon we're gonna to start to go in on tracking to kind of deflect this out even more. And that's where Eric, you can see Eric's looking. We just wanna get that tracking line tight enough to clear as Jan lowers. And we're looking good. So, I kind of like this option better because it guarantees that I have the ability to clear something that I may have overestimated. Up on tracking! It gives me the ability to clear things that I may have overestimated or underestimated uh, initially. So um, this is probably the default if I was going to do a skate block. Do a tracking line hybrid uh, skate block with an independent self-belay.